Hi, I'm Paul, this is Diane, we are the PC Zombies, and this is the third installment in our series on PC cooling basics. And we found out in our last videos that water cools better than air. And we also found out what needs to be cooled and why. And today we're gonna to talk about how to remove that heat with air. Let's get to it. All right, tell me how air coolers work. Well, I have an air cooler here, let's take it out. An air cooler die has a heat sink, it has a radiator, and it has a fan. In fact, most coolers have those three items. So here's the fan, and here's the radiator. And on the bottom of the radiator is the heat sink. Here's the actual air cooler itself. And if you look at the bottom, that's where your CPU attaches. And then that goes through these pipes. And if you look at it just right, you can see the pipes going all the way up to the top. The pipes are literally touching the fins but it isn't actually water going through the fins. The fins are just metal, but they're aluminum mm. or copper, but in this case, they're obviously aluminum. And because of that, as soon as hot water touches any fin, it immediately sp spreads itself across the entire fin. This whole thing gets super hot, but you put the fan on the other side, you spin it up, and it now starts blowing air across the fins, cools those fins, the water co cools down, so the heat is exchanged to the fins, which is then blown away from the fins. It almost looks like the inside of my car. It is like the inside of your car. <laughs> yeah. It's exactly, in fact, your car has coolant as well. It is mostly distilled water, but there's also an antifreeze in it so that in the winter time, you don't want in the car outside to freeze. Oh, that's- That's funny. why it's not just distilled water. Okay. In this case, it's probably is just distilled water or maybe some chemicals to make it last longer or something to make it more effective. Mm -hmm. And what's that tell you? An air cooler is actually a little mini water cooler. It has the pipes, it has the water, it's just all in one constrained system. Now the bad news is, this is sitting inside your case, right? Right. So unless you have an open case that can have new air come and go as it pleases, your case is gonna get very hot inside. Okay. So what you need to do then is you need to pull in cool air into the case and expel the hot air that's coming off of the fins out of the case. So they got fans on the bottom of the case and fans on the top of the case. So Di, now you know how air cooling works. Next time we're gonna talk about how water cooling works. It sounds like fun. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.